I came in from Atlanta. I'm from Chicago. But I come up under the, the, the realization that we gotta get we gotta educate our people about the Democratic Party because he's talking about Dr. King. If Dr. King was living today, he would not be talking about the Democratic Party. I promise you that. Because the Democratic Party ain't did nothing for us. Nothing. The only thing the Democratic Party is doing is keeping us as slaves. And all these brothers and sisters that's rolling with the Democratic Party, that's in all these positions, they ain't doing nothing either. Now, I've been down in Atlanta dealing with a lot of ministers, and I got a saying, they can't lead me to the bathroom. You know, and that's the real truth of the matter. And they keep talking about the talent attempt, the talent attempt, all the brothers and sisters coming out of college. That ain't the talent attempt, because that was true. We wouldn't be in the condition that we're in. The real talent attempt is brothers coming from prison that has woke up and they, they DNA is exploding and they have to tell the truth about what we need to be doing. The Republican Party, we're really talking about a lot of the same things, and our people are Republican anyway. You follow what I'm saying? So again, any time you're around a lot of people in the Democratic Party, they want to keep us subservient. Like I was saying, we got two of us. We got two different mentalities in our nation, those of us that want to rule ourselves and those that want to be ruled by other people. The Democratic Party, they want to be ruled by other people, and we ain't got no problem with that. That's why the meetings that we go to, you don't see the Jesse Jackson and Al Sharps, the NAACP, SCLC in the meetings that we have, because this ain't the meeting for them. They want to be ruled by other people. We on the march to rule ourselves, and that's why I'm hearing everything that Paul McKinley is saying, because, you know, we've been trained to go in there and hit the level just because it's a Democrat. And that's what we got to get out of. I had a mentality when I hear brother say Republican, I thought he was a traitor. You follow what I'm saying? Until I realize what this is really all about. And they have our people conditioned. All the pastors in the church, when they hear Republican, they, you know, they, they, they turn their shoulders up and they turn their nose up at people that say they're Republican. And we really got to educate our people about, look at what the Democratic Party has done for us. When you look at our community, you're looking at what the Democratic Party has done for us so far. To us. To us, yeah. To us and for us. So all of this has been done by the Democratic Party. So it's time for us to jump ship and go and do, do a new thing. And like Paul said, everywhere I go, they be getting upset when I be talking about us moving like the Democratic Party. I've been talking to them about, why don't y'all quit crying about these jobs? They want to go to other people and cry to these people. Y'all ain't giving us no jobs. Well, listen to the, re the reality of that. You're asking people to give you the jobs that they're creating for their people. Are you kidding me? You follow what I'm saying? So this is the nonsense that's going on in the Democratic Party. And the only thing, I've been down in Atlanta and New Orleans, they only want to keep complaining. This is where they're keeping up a lot of trouble. They know monies are coming in. And you're sitting at the table with the opportunity to block this money or to say, look, how are we going to cut this money up with everybody? They don't have the backbone to say it at the meeting, but when the money do come, then they want to create problems by complaining that these people ain't doing the right thing. This is the nonsense that's going on. You follow what I'm saying? If you didn't have a backbone to speak up when the money, you knew the money was coming, to stop it, to block it, to say, look, this money ain't coming our town until we know how we're cutting it up. You didn't have a backbone to say it then, but then when the money hit the table, you want to complain. So I'm like, oh, the white folks stealing all the money. That's what's wrong with our people right now today. Now, this brother Paul McKinley, he had a backbone to take to stop the things that's taking place before they happen. And this is what you call provoking violence. These people are just provoking stuff by not speaking up. And they're the ones that's provoking all the trouble. Because I get tired of, and, and our youth ain't hearing that, because our youth keep seeing our people who call themselves leaders complaining and protesting. This ain't the 60s, and we ain't got time to be marching no more. And that's why the youth ain't feeling it. They ain't even going to church. Why? Because the churches are. Democrats. Mm -hmm. The churches are the ones, our biggest problem is our community churches. These church leaders, and we got Inglewood, 300 churches in a black owned bank, in a black owned grocery store. All of these churches, Democrats. Everywhere we go, we have problems. What are they? Democrats. So we need to move into another ticket. That's all I got to say. And we have to educate our people about the difference between Republican and Democrat. And just because a person is Democrat, don't be hitting that, hitting that button. You don't even know what that person is talking about. That person could be a Ku Klux Klan because he's a Democrat. We're hitting the ticket. We're hitting the ticket. And that's why our problems align. So we have to be the men that have the backbone to say the things that have to be said. And like he said, I'm all for them. Because down in Atlanta, I said we need to form a group called X Factor. Because we do make a difference. 
We make all the difference in the world because we have a backbone to take to say the things that they won't say. That's all I got to say.